Well, look, I mean, it's, inter it's going to be interesting between now and October 14. What's your reaction to John Farnham's song being used in support of The Voice? Oh, look, um, it, I think it'll be very interesting to see what other songs are going to come out. Um, look, congratulations, John Farman, for um, handing that over for them to use. Um, that was very, very big of him, um, and I'm quite sure um, it was very generous um, and, and good on him. I, I don't really have much else to say about that. Obviously, mm. many of us, especially our age, uh, know that song quite well. Um, I did see the ad run through last night. I thought the ad was done... Um, quite well as well. So I guess we'll just see I see I guess we'll just see where it ends. But once again we're six weeks out and either they've worn people out or they've left their run too late. But I guess we'll depict that after the vote's taken. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well not long to go now. Let's move on now to airlines in Australia. Qantas being investigated by the ACCC, of course the blocking of the Qatar flights. How big of a mess is Qantas in firstly, do you think? Well, that depends on whether the ACCC is actually going to take any action because it's, you know, not known for doing that that well. Um, so that's the other problem you have and whether or not the ACCC will step in and, and get heavy-handed with them. And if that needs to be done, it's about time the ACCC showed that side of themselves and went in heavy-handed and went hard at Qantas that's, if that's what needs to be done. Uh, the other thing is with Qatar is, uh, you know, I'm still... I've still got to talk to people over the next through it, next two or three days. I just want to make sure that it's not going to have an effect, a negative effect, on the smaller domestic airlines that we ha now have flying around Australia. I would hate to see them being wiped out if this thing builds bigger and they start doing domestic flights. So I just want to talk to the people like Sharp Airlines, Rex Airlines, uh, uh, is it uh, Bonza? Bonza, mm. I think, that's fairly new in the market. Yeah. I just want to be able to talk to them uh, because this was only sort of brought up last week and we got 14 trenches of legislation thrown at us on Thursday. It's been a pretty heavy weekend, so I do apologise for that, but I will be meeting with the executives of those airlines over the next few days or at least speaking to them by phone to get my head around this and, hear, and listen to what they have to say. All right, just quickly, we're running out of time. Before we let you go, do you support more Qatar flights coming to Australia? What's your position on that? Um, well, once again, I'm just not 100% sure because I'm just not sure what the unintended consequences are, if there are any, um, to the domestic airlines here. And I just want to make sure that they're comfortable with that uh, before I come out and say anything further. That would be me doing my due diligence and making sure I'm doing the right thing and listening to all sides of the argument. OK, fair enough. Senator Jackie Lambie, good to speak with you as always. Thank you for joining us this morning.